We have here a wonderfully complete rendering of a medicine dance, or sometimes called a trance dance. In fact, there are two renderings. There's a black and a red one, indicating two episodes of use, perhaps several generations apart. And that's fitting because the medicine or trance dance is the most important San religious ritual. It is still practiced today by the San, and it has lasted despite all the problems they've had. Here, for example, you have figures in animated dance poses. The central figure with his knee up, the feathered cap that he's wearing, and the stick that he's having in his hand. But he's not alone. Around him he's supported by female figures that clap. And the clapping is not an incidental accompaniment. The sound of the clapping and the rhythm of the woman singing creates a powerful oral atmosphere that enables these medicine people or shamans to go into an altered state of consciousness. It's not a solemn or somber religious ritual. If you look around the image, here for example at the bottom are seated human figures surrounded by bags. There's a trancer, the potency has gotten so much that he has to bend forward as the potency begins to take his body over. If we move up to the left, we find an echo with the earlier bag imagery where two human figures, their heads facing each other, are located in a bag, presumably um, to transform into some sort of animal. This dance, in fact, may be considered a launch pad for journeys both within to in the rock, and it also lured people here. This is a social space. People would actually have danced here, and they would then have depicted it. Also, the journey is not only contained in the past, but if you move to the extreme right of the panel, you'll see, for example, a depiction of a horse. The red episode could not therefore be older than about 350 years when horses were first introduced into this region. And it tells us that these people, the San, had dealings with a maximally different people, the first black farmers. The dance was one of the ways in which they worked through their identity, who they were and weren't, who other people were, and what their, what their points of commonality and difference were. And so to what us what looks like vandalism almost, painting on top of each other's art, is not at all that. If you were the original artist here, you would be quite complimented by somebody painting something on top of your work, adding to its potency, adding to its fullness.